hello, Constable Neela. <laughs> yeah, it's it's weird. Why, it's like a misnomer. Look at that. It's like her, but then it's like... Yeah. What? I turned into a spider, I did. <laughs> what? She's Australian. That's why I'm doing the... I don't know. She's I don't Australian? know what she's supposed to be. I don't know. What's a constable? Oh, well, we decided it's just a police officer in a small town, but... All right. Oh, we did. Yeah, that's right. All right. Well, we so, don't know where she's from. Well, let's get started. Thank you. So yeah, Prague is in two parts too. Time for a little payback. Huh. The Contessa, having escaped us in the prison, is now hiding out in her castle estate. Why are all of her legs it's forward? Well fortified gothic nightmare that would make any thief run in terror. That's what's giving you pause. Not, that's yeah. No, that's the only thing. To sweeten the deal, we've learned that the Contessa, who until recently was a secret member of the Claw Gang, is in oh. possession of the Clockwork Eyes. The Thievius Raccoonus describes the eyes stopping opponents dead in their tracks, transfixed in their gaze. It doesn't take a genius to figure out what an accomplished hypnotist could do with such powerful artifacts. News of the Contessa's corruption has spread to Interpol. Constable Neela, being closest to the case, was granted a cash allowance to hire an army of local mercenaries. What? It's like we're walking into a full-scale war. That's definitely how Interpol works. But we have to act <laughs> now, before things go from bad to worse. I mean, Bentley loves cocking that dart gun. Do, do you see how much I shoot it? Yeah. True. Yeah. Brat, brat. But you don't cock dart guns. Or... Well, is it a dart gun? I thought it was a crossbow. It's a crossbow. Gun. Yeah, you dart definitely don't. You definitely don't. A dart. Cock a crossbow. You crank a crossbow. Yeah. <laughs> That's why when he does it, it's. C -c yeah, that stands for crank, 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 <laughs> crank, crank. Dude, did you see that? You can see bottles from in here. What? Oh, Look, there's a bottle bouncing out there. I like What's it. also crazy is watch this. I'll choose Sly. Let's see a mission. Let's see if I can see that. You can see missions from in here too if you've clicked it like that. Yeah. Oh. I guess Weird. they don't. I mean. That's probably they just don't want to unload the world, and I don't know. I'm not a coder, but I am. But I've, you, I've you been, are though. Been doing that a lot more. You're about to do that for your full-time job, right? True. Okay. All that data codes. <clears throat> First, take some recon photos around the area. Then make your way up to the re-education tower. <laughs> Looks. <laughs> what? That moon feels out of place. Like with this smooth I feel like it's too. It I feel like it's too tall. Well, it's yeah, it's really skinny. It's skewed. It's a tall moon tonight, fellas. But I'm just saying, like the rest of the game is like cartoony and like weird. That moon's like kind of realistic. Yeah. Yeah, it is out of place. You know. You know? This, the texture's too high resolution. For exactly. It. Precisely. Wow. It's like really a Minecraft mod. Or yeah. Mine, where you put in really good textures. But it's still everything is still square. Yeah, I never understood that texture packs for Minecraft. They're beautiful. I've seen some amazing stuff. Eh. They do look pretty good. Whoa, Zach. I think I would play Minecraft again. Wasn't there also that? Um, it's been a while. There was the like the crazy high resolution texture pack mod for Half Life Two. Yes. No, I mean there was the original Half Life got a texture pack. Yeah. And I hated that. I know that like the Half Life Two one looks freaking beautiful. I this I've never heard of this. This is relevant to my interest. If it's the one that I'm remembering, <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you know this, Andrew, but... Oh, I do. Zach played a lot of Half-Life. Wait, what am I supposed to take a picture of? Just this thing? I may go home and play Portal because of this conversation. Man, I miss the days when Valve made video games instead of just Steam. <laughs> they make money on Dota, that's kind of the same thing. Yeah, but you I don't guess. get to play new things. You don't get to play new Dota stuff. They do, I guess. Isn't right. every new game of Dota a new game? <laughs> yeah, but... I'm just gonna come out and say it. <laughs> Dota's not a very good game. What? I mean, it's a really good game. Yeah, but it's really specific to, like, one person's interest. Yeah, in it's hard to play. Style. And... Yeah. It's very... Yeah, we'll go with that one. ...unfriendly community. And it's... <laughs> it's so, it's what are the damaging, benefits of it now? It's damaging to your... Your psyche. Your relationships oh. with other people. Yeah, it is. Um... Whoa. But it's a really good game. But everyone loves yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, um, well, I mean, it's, yeah, bad community does not necessarily mean bad game in the slightest. Like, I don't that's know. that's my love hate relationship with Rocket League. The game is absolutely phenomenal. Is it the community car is game? full of assholes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's soccer, but in a rocket car. Wait, you play that, like, a lot? Like, you're good at yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That it's game a is great so game. Hard. I know it's it is. It's super game. fun. It's I a, just yeah, yeah. It. 
The community is just awful, though. Completely full of assholes. Dang it! I'll never get up there. I'll never make it! I enjoy Rocket League. I, I enjoyed the hell out of Dota 2, though. Um, really? Yeah, we played it when it was still in beta and stuff, like in 2012. Hmm. And I think I put over, like, 450, 500 hours in that Jesus game. Jesus Christ. Yep. Yeah. It was... I, I don't know. I don't even know what to tell you. I, I really <laughs> lost a lot of time to that game. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Now, what are you going to do? Oop. I, I got one little... What's what's his, what's his butthole smell like? Yeah, I definitely tried just, to pick one. Yeah. Or are you trying to smell his butthole? I mean, have you ever not smelled... I mean, why would you not smell someone's I've butthole? never smelled a wolf's butthole. <laughs> you haven't? Mm -mm. What a freak. Yeah. I actually can't what believe the new the new South Park game. Do you guys know the title of it? Nope. I don't. It's South Park, The Fractured Butthole. <laughs> what? Like, that's a fractured comma, -H but W-H-O-L-E. Yeah. Like, like a fractured whole butt. A whole, one whole butt that's been fractured? The fractured, but it's also a hole. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's actually a really bad title. It could be called Fractured Yet Hole. <laughs> right. And that's what they mean. I know, I get it. I get the pun. Is you that got, like you how got there's two shiny pockets here? Yeah. Is that sort of like the whole like star trek into darkness thing? Oh, I didn't even think like there's no comma, there's no like colon or anything that indicates the pause like Star right. Trek and then into darkness well, it's like a as a subtitle. Type so it's so star. It's font. So it's like star trek into darkness. <gasps> Ooh, it's so tempting, but I'm on a mission, so I can't do it. Or like, it's not a smaller font though. I don't like, think. Uh, step up to the streets. Yeah, yeah. Step up to our the streets. Favorite, our favorite movie. Yeah. yeah. We go way back with that movie. <laughs> is it is it is the title actually spelled out like the number two, the streets? Oh, I, th it I think so. Certainly is. Yeah. I don't even have to look <laughs> or check. Yeah. You know it is. I think Courtney watched <laughs> Step Up, the first one recently. Oh, I did too, actually. What? Channing Tatum. Uh, yeah, I think so. It could have been on Netflix or something, but I certainly watched it recently. Pretty good. <laughs> I, it holds up. I mean, no, <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> I mean, granted, step up to the streets is better. Right. Everyone knows that. There was that, uh, there was, uh, I don't know, <laughs> a certain period of time where it was like, okay, we're going to do, um, these artsy movies. Like there's one about a violin or a cellist who's like this, this cellist and they go into an inner city school and it's like, how, how can I be a cellist? And it's like, integrate that with the hip hop scene. Yeah. Of you course. Know? Hip but hop like, cello. Those common. That was a that that's like a theme in a lot of movies of that time. Like that it was like I'm a I'm a classically trained dancer. What do you mean I have to dance to hip hop now? And then I have to befriend this this inner city youth. Right. But thank God he's white type of thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. Just wait here till he rolls back. Oh no, there was one. Um I don't know that I don't know the name of that cellist one or violinist. No fuck. Could you get into a better spot? No. Okay. I mean, yes, but it'll take more time again. More time again. The streets. <laughs> what? It was green! I mean, the game is literally telling you to move to a new location. <laughs> I know, but... <laughs> but, come on, I'm so close. I, now it's just like a principal thing. Go! Mm, good job. Like yeah. See, guys? <laughs> you didn't have faith in me like Bentley did. I These do are like, my true oh. pals. So this map is definitely separated in, like... Part of it is Interpol, part of it is Contessa's stuff, right? I think, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, on home... Nila's side, yeah. Yeah. It's a river separates the two. Is it still Prague? Yeah. Pragu. Pragu. The sauce. Pragu. <laughs> I think they could have switched up the aesthetic a little bit more in between these two. Oh my god. That, that, that just, I can't, like, not, now I can't unhear slash see the video of Zach coming out of the closet with a full jar of ragu. Oh, yeah. He just says, your ragu, man. Your ragu, man. Why did we do that? I don't remember what spawned that. I don't either. Because I did the coffee cup one. What? Well, I think Parker did something, too. It was oh, the moment right. we discovered the, like, quasi-Snapchat feature in iMessage. That's right. What? What is that? You I think just, I still have the video. You can just send short videos to hmm. people. Right? I already forgot how to do that. I think you... I don't know. I don't know how you do that either. Ooh, there must be a bottle up here. Wait, I heard one somewhere. But I've got to still have the I video. think there are like, uh, I don't know, dozens of features in iMessage that I don't take advantage of. 
that we'll never know about or use. Right. I just send people text messages. Yeah, me too. I'm like, hello? But you can send like full on minute long videos in iMessage. That's amazing. And they look great. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, here's talking oh, about God. Karma. Oh, just asking about I was asking about her because she was still, yeah. It's the clockwork eyes up here. Jesus Why Christ. Why are you doing this? Neela, she set me up. I'm an honest cop. Of course you are. I've read your psychological profile. I know that you're honest. Then why are you doing this to me? Because, dear, you're honest. You see, by chasing after Sly Cooper, you learn too much. Her accent's just so weird. And it's Is she trying to do an accent? It was only a matter of time before you figured out that I was a secret member. So, when Neela gave me a chance to put you in custody, I took it. Coward. You're a disgrace to Interpol. I'll make it my life's work to destroy you. Oh, I'm afraid your life, let alone your life's work, isn't going to last much longer. Once I integrate the clockwork eyes into this device, your life's work will be whatever I tell you. I won't be brainwashed that easily. Quite right. It won't be easy. Or painless. <gasps> Oh, but no. I will oh, shit. She's gonna kill her. Cuts off her pinky. Just yeah. Back and relax. Go to or the classic James Bond, like the blazer. Blazer. Forever. Up the crotch. I don't think they've seen you. Take a few photos and get out of there. What a horrific, like, no situation. No, Carmelita. She's yep. in trouble here. There's nothing you can do. Being going chained up to a table. Oh yeah. Laser through the nards. I swear, we'll find a way that laser help. is going through her non-existent nards. No, she has nards. How does she have nards? Lady nards. Ladies have gonads. They're just inside. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not kidding. I see what you're is it at. literally a gonad? Like, God damn it. Define, yeah, your nads. Define gonad. Is that a real thing? Yeah, it's like. Like your testicles, right? I'm gonna look it up. But ladies, ladies have gonads. But that's why that's why the nickname Nads what? for your nuts is the best thing ever. Are you talking about ovaries? I don't know. But go, the gonad is like a, a thing that both both sexes have. Oh, yeah. What? A gonad is a real thing. Hold on. Gonad, an organ that produces uh, gametes, a testes or ovary. Yeah. Yeah. So ovary. Yeah. But okay. But that's oh, I love why, those like, hats on those birds. Those I didn't realize it was actually a word and not like slang. For your no, testicles. that's why yes. nads is the perfect slang for your testicles because they're go nads. Oh. But yeah, a girl could be like, oh, oh nads. M most commonly used as a vulgar slang term. Shuffler. Yeah, yeah. For a man's testicles. Think they were real. It's made of equal parts science Gamedes? and black magic. Gamedes? What is it? Gamedes is something... It's, gamede is a thing, but it's something very different. No, made no, of, made produce, of equal parts science gamedes. and black magic, is what Bentley just oh, said. Oh, yeah, yeah, this voodoo machine, yeah, yeah. it's pretty weird. What else was supposed to shoot? Old terminal. But the Contessa is not black. Mm. Go, the word gonads has lost popularity, uh, looks like in the 70s. It's on the downward trend. <laughs> How does Google do that? I guess they like look for that word in in like books, books and, and stuff. literature and like <laughs> web, like well they they also search like the whole internet yeah like every public website like <clears throat> blog or like whatever is all in their database so I'm sure that's how they do part of it. All right, quite a quite. quite. Go now. The war between Neela and the Contessa has put the castle on high alert. To get at the Clockwork Eyes, we'll need to subtly manipulate this conflict to our advantage. Here's the plan, Murray. Sneak into the castle and kidnap the head of security. I want to ask him a few questions. Meanwhile, Sly and I are going to get a little paranormal. I'll slip into the crypts beneath the castle and put together a bad mojo bomb. It should be enough to destroy the mind shuffler. Sly, you capture a few local ghosts and drop them into Neela's headquarters. Hopefully the near-death experience will inspire her to purchase more mercenary firepower. We've all got our assignments. Good luck. I like how, like, voodoo and weird this is getting. <laughs> like, capture a few ghosts while you're at it. Like, what? Yeah, I thought that was weird too, but it's not unusual for a Sly game if True. you think about it. <clears throat> is all there right. gonna be a sudden fourth member uh, of the team played by Bill Murray? Play? Let's see, there are missions for everybody. I'll do one. Yeah, we have, we have... 
a good amount of time. Let's see if there's left in this video. Scrantly Mish. Oh, yep. Scrantly? All three. Yeah. That's you. Scrantly's my cousin <laughs> from upstate. Alright. I'm gonna channel my inner Zach. Okay. You ragu, ma'am. Yep. Internet classic. Yep. Now. Oh, Did I die? I, yeah, man. That took like half my health. <laughs> oh, I may have to. Is, it, is he in a closet? <laughs> yep, that's sure. It's not. It's it's my pantry actually. Yep. I had the ragu. And you were rocking at some ladies. Goodness. Do you have the speed run? Oh, yeah, oh it yeah, started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh god. Also, Zach, it started with you taunting Parker because he left something here. Oh yeah. Is uh, blue cheese? Yeah. Yep. Ooh, I, I'll eat some blue cheese. Right. Gosh. Man, you just can't get turtle can't get a break up in here. You could definitely walk across that bridge though. Wait, oh, Fudge, you probably can't get up there. The only way to get up is to climb that pipe. Yeah, you're screwed. You got to go across the main bridge. Or do I? <gasps> no way. O M. Gosh. I don't know where this leads, but. It leads up a ramp on the other side. You did good. You did good. Jump! I couldn't jump there. I had to turn. I turned very well. Yeah, yeah. You can't jump with that speed thing. Man, why are all the Bentley missions so far away? <laughs> that noise is awesome. Mm -hmm. Whoa, 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 whoa. I gotta show some major... <laughs> it's a very Twilight Zone. Make some cash here. Because then I can buy the paraglider. And it's the best. You hear me? Do you hear me? Yes, I do love Breath of the Wild. That's it. I knew she'd have <laughs> I a don't hear you. collector to transport the overflow. Huh? <laughs> it's a semi magical. <laughs> He's like, why are you, are you even on magic? this call? I don't need your help. <laughs> I'll need it to get Mary, hang up. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get on the internet. Not really. That bojo is a powerfully dark force. Oh, I mean, it sounds hard. <laughs> while carrying that collector, and you're done for. Wow, sounds hard. <laughs> God damn. Presents an interesting tactical challenge. Testicle challenge. I could use the Gonad challenge. Hmm. Against any foe that I need to I test my coals. My collection of the ectoplasm. Huh? No, no way that. <laughs> I'd use that switch to smash up the guards before they ever got near me. I need to go. Precisely. What's all the force the collection device are full? That should be enough. I need to go and destroy the Nads some stuff from the store. Go nab, nab some stuff yeah, that, from the that's, store. That's what I was gonna. Do. Smash one of those, Zach. Smash it. The middle one. Circle, circle. Activate it. Oh, sweet. Smack that guy into it and then do it again. Oh, fudge. Oh, they all do the same oh, thing. Sorry. That was a lot of death. Oh, Alright, now I know what to do. Yeah, yeah, oh, for shit. sure. That was a long explanation. Like, they talked for a solid two minutes there. It should have just said press the button when they come at yeah. you. Oh, fudge. Can you skip this now? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh. I'm the Lizard King! That! What is that? What's the Lizard King? Because Sly calls him Lizard. At There's the beginning no of this game. Freaking way, that's what that. Come on, come on! He's like, Sly, come in, Sly. Reference. This is the wizard. Yeah, Why I remember, I remember. He's like, alright, Blizzard. Gizzard. Is he a blue wizard? Heads up! He was obviously the green wizard. I'm having a good time. Yeah, no, this mission is super fun. It it gets harder. You have to go into more crypts and press buttons in different patterns. But there are really easy patterns for a lot of them. I'll, I'll help you. I'll help a brother out. I'll help a turtle out. Sorry about that. I feel like they've seen their friends get crushed. Yeah, you think they run and around. Maybe would think, you know, maybe I shouldn't jump into the crushing pin. Yeah, you know, that's a good point. No way. Ooh. Looks like Whoa. the spout's right What if that just crushed him? <laughs> No matter, on one fourth of the way to a full tank. This is as close as we'll ever get to the Bentley and Ghostbusters crossover. Do you guys see the new Ghostbusters with all the no. ladies? No, no, I haven't. It's alright. I'm not really sure how to 
gonna use your computer. Yeah, it looks just all right. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. I mean, it made me realize, like, oh, maybe Ghostbusters was just okay. <laughs> I guess maybe. Maybe the original Ghostbusters was not phenomenal. But then again, that can't be true. Can't possibly <laughs> be true. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I haven't seen those in a long, long time. But when I did see them in more recent times, they were, like, really creepy. Yeah, I definitely watch those. That's that's a movie where it's like, oh, the kids love it, but it has like yeah, a horrifying ghosts in it. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, definitely. I the was most horrifying is the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. <laughs> Wasn't that Ghostbusters two or is that the original? I thought that was the original. Okay. I might be mixing them up. But still, yeah, they're really freaking scary. Like uh, all dogs go to heaven. I always thought it was so scary. <laughs> all right, Zach, check us out. You. You can experiment with them, but basically, the right one does the swinging thing. You can kill them all with this one here. You can just hit it. You can hit it on the on toward swing and the back swing. Let's go that far right one. If you get it on the forward swing and the back swing, you can kill two guys at once. This one takes a long time to come back. You have to it, use it. it. Very, yeah, very clearly. Oh gosh. You take one hit, you die. Yep. Yeah, because the Jesus. battery pack. I watched a lot of the Ghostbusters animated series, actually. Hmm. Probably more than any of the movies. So go to that top right one. Oh, come on. There you go. See, I think part of, the, part of the problem with it for me is I just, like... The sequels thing bothers me, like, a lot. Yeah. And, like, re remaking old movies now. and whatnot. See, look, you can get them both. Then it'll come back. Because, like, the, the movie is in part successful because of, like what was happening at the time the movie was made. So you can kind of cheat this. This is what I discovered. It took me a long time to figure out the pattern. <laughs> yeah, he's the Lizard King. Oh, damn it. Yes. Alright, it'll come back. Perfect. Nice. Ooh, okay, so they got off pattern. Oh, okay. Nice. I'm having a lot of fun with this. This is actually really smart. Yeah. Like a, it's like a weird tower defense type game. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Did you guys play much StarCraft? Nope. None. All right. Didn't they remaster StarCraft 2 or something, though? They're getting ready to remaster the first StarCraft. Oh, right. Oh, like Which, an HD version? Yeah. Or something like yeah. that. Yeah. I know Nasty the thing loves StarCraft. Is, the thing is, like, StarCraft 2 was, like, just StarCraft 1, but, you know... But modern. Yeah, it just made it more modern, so I don't know what they're gonna do with that re-up of StarCraft. I do miss real-time strategy games like crazy. I mean, we're kind of on the same topic with like Dota and MOBAs and stuff. Yeah. Oh, but I get it. I mean, real-time strategy games are phenomenally good, usually. Shit. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Can you, you can still <clears throat> drop bombs, by the way. I can. I can. Oof. Blow up. Blow them up. Kill them all. Kill them all. Kill them all. Yeah, hit the... Oh, yeah, you're trying to draw them back in. Smart! Oh, shit, that was a lot. Nice. Wow, how did he... Drop some bombs or something. You're scaring me. Oh, my gosh, these are the last three. Please don't die. Please drop bombs or something. You're stressing me out, Zach. You're stressing me out a lot. Oh, no. Don't get hit by your own bomb. Yes! <laughs> oh no, he ran away! Oh god, you're, yes. oh, gosh. <laughs> you're stressing me out. Oh, uh, that did not go according to plan. I was gripping the controller so hard right there. Yeah. Oh man. This is only your second one. Oh yeah. Two more. Cool. Yeah, well probably this will be our last one for this episode. Yeah. Nice. I like so, I like this though. I'm gonna get time. Yeah. So if you're missing if you're missing real-time strategy games, Zach, you gotta try Company of Heroes, the original one. Oh really? Yeah, the first one. It's fucking phenomenal. I would possibly argue that it's the best real-time strategy game ever made. So is that that's a World War II with Yeah, it's set in World mm. War II. That's boring. <laughs> I don't know. You like fantasy? Well like fiction? I think when I think about World War II, I think about first-person shooter type games. Oh. I think actually, and that doesn't sound good to me either. I think World War II mm. is just a really boring setting. Hmm. I mean, it's definitely overplayed. It used to be, though. Like, Call of Duty's going back to World War II now. I remember... Well... Watching, yeah, but... Like, I remember World War II... 
uh, first person shooters being like panned and made fun of a lot like back in the early 2000s oh like as being overdone I mean yeah, it, like X play it's still kind of just a recurring joke like oh going back to World War two yeah you ever storm Normandy oh just kidding <laughs> well like I, I, it's like I genuinely like the um like I don't actually like Battlefield One all that much, but it was very interesting that they chose World War One as a like as, you a, drop bombs as a topic as a, as a subject drop for the bombs. game. Of course, then they ruined it by filling the game with like submachine guns and automatic weapons and stuff like that. This one's way complicated. Yeah, these two do the same thing. That's another stamper. Yeah, putting them to sleep. I think the only point is to go around and drop bombs on them. That was dope. Oh, that one's a great one. Come on, Stamper. Man. Stamper, no stamping. <laughs> this one's still out. Yeah, this mission was really fun. I enjoyed it. But see how m very sly it is? Like, Bentley being out in the field doing all this stuff is, seems crazy. Right? Mm -hmm. He's really coming bit, yeah. out of his shell in this game. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Oh, you didn't even- you didn't toast yourself? <gasps> my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh, what? Oh, you hurt yourself. That blew up really fast. Did, that was, did he that? hit it? Did the guy hit it? Mm. Can he do that? I don't know. Is he allowed to do that? I guess they came out with like Red Alert 3. Not they did. Too long, not too long ago. Well, like... Seven years ago. What? Yeah. <laughs> has it been that, that game. That game was like 2010ish or something like. Has that. it been that long? It has. <laughs> well, because like Red Alert 2, Red Alert 2 came out in 2000. <laughs> Red Alert 2 came out in 2000 or 2001, and it was like super controversial because. Yes. It was right around 9/11. You had to garrison the World Trade Center. Yeah, yeah, and you had to destroy the Pentagon, like in the Russian campaign. Wow. Yeah, and it like it came out like in 2000 or 2001, so it was like <laughs> it was really heady. <laughs> um, That's crazy. For the time. I remember um, Zach. Do you remember Red Faction Two? That was a first-person shooter. And yeah, I, you I, played that on Xbox, Max, the original bit. Xbox. Yeah. yeah. But Red Faction turned into that whole you know remember Gorilla when Gorilla or uh, the Red Planet one. What's that one called? Gorilla. Yeah. That was tight. Totally, totally changed base, but. <laughs> Oh my god. Noice. Jesus, bro. And then also, what was the one where um, the Soviet Soviets invade the US and you play as the Mario Brothers? <laughs> what? <laughs> Zach, you know what I'm talking That's about. That's amazing. Uh, your plumber, your brothers and your plumbers. Yo, you, you know what I'm talking about. I do. It was on GameCube. Freedom Fighters or yeah, something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But remember the setting of that? It's like the Soviets invade. You literally... Our brothers who are plumbers. So I, I never like played that. I remember you played that one. I, I oh, dude, that, that was a quality game on GameCube, man. It was so well done. You went into the sewers nice. to hide. The music was great. It was really, yeah, the environment was like really killer. I remember yeah, it, it had a amazing. decent multiplayer mode. Like yeah. it was like a third capture person the capture the flag. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that was a, hmm. man. All, see, that's yeah. why I don't buy new systems because well, like, there, there are games so many, are still great. There are so many, uh, I feel like that generation had so many like new IP, new IPs. Yeah. You remember mm -hmm. like Metal Arms glitch in the system? Oh my gosh! Am I right? I need to get a no wait that works on Wii. Guys, I can I need to stock up on those games. Yes, when you yep. could take control of another robot, that was so good. Man, that game was so good. Yeah, and then the multiplayer on that was really cool too. You had a slingshot you would toss grenades with. Yeah, and that was one that it you know did not have internet play or anything like that but yep. it would have benefited from it so much okay this one you literally just need to run back and forth and hit all those but you have to experiment and see what they do then you'll know but they they happen whoa that was dope you can knock that guy off with one hit there you go uh -oh. oh my gosh the electrical kill I didn't even do that I've never done that one Oh, I need a. I need, there you go. All right, now watch what they wow. do. Now go left. Oh, you can't. It has a reset. But these are all pretty easy too when you find the pattern. It took me a while to discover it. That electrical one is amazing though. 
got so close. Yeah, that's fucking dope. Oh, oh no. Oh, man. Oh, man. Watch the guys as they jump. Just run to the front of those three. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah. No, I'll agree with you. The World, the World War Two is like a setting is definitely like it's it, it is at least at all times somewhat played out because of how how often that IP is used. You can tap it before they land on the system on things too. See how it goes before. Dude, you know what the coolest war is? Is the American Revolution. The coolest war. None of them. None of them. The American Revolution. So there's a game. There's a mod. Okay. There's a mod for Half Life. It's a source mod or it's a Half Life One mod, and I think it's called. I think it is actually just called Revolution or Revolutions. How about Day of the and it's a first person shooter set in the Revolutionary War, and you actually have a muzzle loading musket. So wow. you get one shot. Like you have the rifle with one shot like and a bayonet. And you take that one shot and then you actually have to stop moving <laughs> and reload the rifle through the through the muzzle. Oh. And it takes like a full like forty seconds to do. It's the same pattern. And then you're back at it. That's awesome. But wait, does it take place in the Half-Life game, though? No, 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 no. It's not set in Half-Life at all. It's just a mod for Half-Life. Okay, so it's like out in like the woods or something, or yeah, no, it it, it has some like revolutionary battle sets, like villages and like very cool, uh, like that. fort fortifications and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Of course, now it's really old and a tiny mod, so like no one plays it, which is sad. But <laughs> but also like, who wants to play a game where you get one shot and then you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my god, one shot to not miss yeah. a chance to spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh. Go home, kid. Go eat your mom's Who's spaghetti. Jeez. Mom biscotti. But you gotta try you gotta try Company of Heroes at some point because it, it makes so much play on movement as opposed to just like unit combination. So it's not just like one unit is strong against this kind of unit but weak against another. There's a huge component about movement and controlling the movement of your opponent hmm. in Company of Heroes. So like if you build like a machine gun, it's not just that the machine gun kills people re like infantry really fast. It's that, like, it actually controls their movement. Like units under fire from a machine gun will get pinned by the machine gun, or suppressed, so they won't be able to move as fast. And so, like, it's it's the movement interplay that makes it very different from most other real-time strategy games. Hmm. All right. Well, we are out of time for this episode, so I'll see you what? guys later. Peace. Come back soon.